Sour Town Mountain. I say Sour Town. Sour Town. Sour Town. So who's right? It depends on where you are in Stokes County. Sour Town. And that's the right way? That's the only way. Kent Bennett says he's lived in this area his entire life. This mountain behind me is one of the last remaining features named after the Sara tribe that explorers say lived here in the Piedmont back in the 1700s. South Stokes High School's mascot is a Native American leader from that tribe. Students call themselves the Saras. Um, I've heard anybody here that calls it the Soras or anything over on this side in, the, in, in this area, Walnut Cove, Germantown. Um, they, they, they immediately correct you. Okay, I'm the newly elected president of the Sora Town Trail Association. You just and said Sora Town. Are you Sora sure you want to say it that I way? I want to say it that way. Bless your heart. How many times have you heard that saying before? This button promotes the North Carolina Language and Life Project that Dr. Walt Lerfram is in charge of. And he's from NC State University, also co author of Talk and Tar Heel. So we wanted to find out just how do you pronounce some of these North Carolina names. He says the most popular pronunciation seems to be Sour Town. But that's the predominant and the one that seems to carry the, uh, the greatest attachment in terms of uh, localness. So rather than say, Who's right? If you say Sour Town, uh, Sour Town, uh, Sour Town, uh, who's right? It's a matter of, let's celebrate them all because they all indicate sort of where people are coming from 